We are heading towards Andover for the second time in a year, but not to visit Andover New Street, but to watch Andover Town who were founded in just 2013 and tonight they take on Allsford in the Wessex League Division 1. At the moment heading into this game Andover in 18th position, whilst Allsford the visitors are in 4th position and have won all 4 of their opening league games. Andover Town play their football at the Portway Stadium which has a capacity of 3,000. I somehow don't think we will struggle for entry tonight. Allsford got relegated from the Wessex Premier last season, but with how well they've started they could be on their way back. A win tonight would add to that potential. There won't be a light target for this video because I'm not really expecting much in terms of views for this video, but if you could drop a like if you enjoy the video at any point that would be fantastic. And with that we've now made it to the Portway Stadium. Football! I've just got here and the ground doesn't seem to be open just yet. So we're going to take a quick look at the previous encounters and recent form. Look at Allsford, five wins in five. They're looking very good so far, aren't they? And Andover have lost four of their last five. In terms of the last eight meetings, you can see Andover Town absolutely dominating um, with more wins than Allsford. Let's have a look at some of the previous encounters. Most recent one was um, was that 5-2 five, five to Andover back in December 2017. So quite a long time since these guys last met each other. And that was in the Wessex League Premier. So both these teams have been in the Wessex League Premier, it seems. And quite a few goals here and there. 4-2, 6-1 Andover 1, 3-1 away, 3-2. Yeah, quite a lot of goals in there. So hopefully we're in for quite a good amount of goals tonight. Of course, there's more than one Andover team in Andover. Andover New Street, of course, being champions last season. Let's find Andover Town seventh. They're not too far off the playoffs. Um, well, quite 16 points, I think that is there, away from Petersfield. So, not quite close there. But, yeah, Andover certainly done a lot better last season than they're doing this season so far. It's time for a bit of a pre-game food review. I've gone for this cheese and bacon burger option. Cost me five quid from the burger van. I'll let you guys know how it tastes in just a moment. First thoughts on the ground, it's actually very, very nice. No focus in there, this is very poor for me. There we go. It's not a bad ground, this. Um, first time here today. Already been to New Street, like I said. Um, straight away, I think it's, I've, I'm being serious, it is actually really nice. I like the blue railing they got here, which is off the club colors. You've got a nice, decent stand up there, seated stand. And, Bit elevated which I quite like as well it's nothing overly too special but early thoughts are decent setup here it's part of a college as well and here come um, one of the teams to warm up but yeah it's a decent little place this right so the review is this is absolutely amazing look at it oozing the cheese it's melting the bacon's nice the burger pate is absolutely amazing and fresh this is easily a 9 out of 10 guys honestly one of the best non-league burgers I've ever had. Absolutely amazing. I'm loving it. It is really, really good. So going back to the Andover New Street and Andover Town Derby. Last season, what a thrilling encounter there was at the home of Andover New Street at Foxtrot Park last season. Andover Town were 4-0 up, I think at half time. But then a the second half collapse from Town meant that Andover New Street won 5-4 in the last, well, they scored the game winning goal in the last minute of the game. So yeah. Um, but Andover New Street, Wessex Premier now. But like I said last season, a nine goal thriller at Foxcote Park last season. So but I'm looking forward to, to today's game. It should be entertaining. I, I'm not going to make an exact score prediction, but I think Oxford are going to win by at least two tonight. They've had a poor start so far this season. I think Andover Town, it could change. Their fortunes might change. But look, let's just hope we're in for an entertaining game. That burger, by the way, I just want to say it was so greasy, but absolutely fantastic by far. 9 out of 10. I've got to keep going on about it. It is absolutely, that, that was absolutely amazing. And I cannot recommend it enough if you ever do come here ground hopping. But yeah, decent day so far. Look at this old school seating here in the main stand. Not even seats, but I like it. It's old school. Later. There's no way this is happening. When I went to Andover New Street last season, the game almost got called off because of a floodlight failure. Well, guess what? Tonight, kickoff has been delayed by around 15 20 minutes because of this floodlight not working. So, 
It's the curse of the Andover for me. Two Andover games, two delays. Fantastic. Well, that was a close call. The game almost got abandoned because of the floodlight failure, but we are go, go, go for the for the game, which is fantastic. I was going to rush to Andover New Street if this was going to get abandoned. Luckily, it's not. So game on in just a few minutes' time. Player by Andover, could they get the first goal of the game? No, not quite. Andover got some quality forwards or wingers. So quick on the ball, very skillful. Unfortunately, some of their passing has been poor, but very good signs from Andover Town so far this half. Oh, I think that must have hurt him. He's on the floor. There we go, all for take the lead. Unlucky. This game's getting a bit feisty now. It's kicking off between both sets of players. There's going to be some cards soon. I think there will be now for an Alsford player. A lot of big tackles and challenges going in. So half time, it's 1 0 to the visitors, Alsford, who are on for their fifth straight league victory. Not the most entertaining of games to be fair, not many chances to be had, Andover started off really brightly and they had some good opportunities, they're quite tricky on the wing, they're quite quick but some of their last passes are failing them miserably but I think they, they, they got the potential to be a decent outfit of Andover Town with their forwards, um, Alsford have been pretty decent, they've been that great so I don't think their lead is that deserved but I think they're still a decent outfit considering you know and of course they will be a decent outfit because they are you know near the top of the table hopefully the second half will be a little bit more entertaining in terms of shots it's been entertaining with the amount of tackles and it getting feisty on the pitch but yeah let's see how the second half goes it's not going to count it's offside Who's that green man? Who's that green man? Who's that green I think we seem to have nearly run out of footballs here. This happened quite a few times. Also, players kicking the ball over the fence. And we found a ball. Game on. Oh, there's nobody there. They're just not good enough up front, Andover Town. It has to be said. There's not. There's nobody ever in the box, and their passing has been atrocious at times. But I think it's going to be a one-nil win for Alsford the way it's going. I think that's game over now, 2-0 to the visitors. And it goes from bad to worse. 3-0.
So Allsford win 3-0 tonight and it's their fifth straight league victory. They've won all five league games so far and I think Allsford will be the team to beat. I reckon they will be well up for the league title now in the Wessex League Division 1. And over town on the other hand were very disappointing in the second half. And I think overall it was a very boring second half. I think even though Allsford got those two late goals in the second half, they didn't have many other chances and Andover Town probably had about one or two shots in that second half. So overall, I think it was a bit of a boring game overall, to be honest with you. Um, the first half was a hell of a lot better, but I think the two upsides of tonight's game, going to attend it anyway, um, I think the ground was pretty nice and their bacon and cheeseburger was absolutely amazing. But still, I enjoyed it. Six quid, non-league football, you can't beat it, can you? But anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more non-league content. Your support is greatly appreciated. As always, on Saturday, Bracknell Town hosts Tiffert and Town, so we will be at that one. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Mm -hmm.